For the save system we have to generate two files and separate for functionality. I mean, we have this presets file that we are going to generate and is only going to be loaded on the character creation interface. But then you also need a saved character, which is going to be the character storing all the data that you need. The preset file is only going to have the UI values and the slider values, color presets and stuff. Then also it's going to get the blend shapes and bone transform. That is going to get directly from the character and also it's going to fit this other file. But for the saved character, we need specific information because we are here uh, storing the slider information. This slider is uh, this color, for example, but we need the specific color here because we are not going to load this interface in game continuously. So for example, this is how it looks. At the left would be a preset. At the right would be a saved character file. And here we have the bones Y, for example, we need this information in those files. And instead of color presets, this, for example, emulates and loads. To emulate, uh, click this button with this value. But in the character, we need a specific value. Which color has the bare, the root color, the tip color, that depends on this button. So we need just the raw information for the character. So by the way, we also stored this head bone, which means the scale of the of the head. Um, yeah, for example, we have this blend shapes here, and we have these blend shapes here. But here we have the slider slider values, which means that if we move one of these values, this thing is going to happen. So we get this the raw information to the character. And at the left, we get the value of the sliders or the color presets. So when it loads, uh, it automatically set these values on the GUI, fits the character, and then you save the character with this information. The character auto saves himself. And so we also have some the meshes that we that we are going to have, the name of the character and all the information you want to include. So how do we save that? Uh, we have this function, save preset is not the same as save character. Save preset should be hidden in a release, in a hypothetical release. Um, yeah, we say the character, save your own blend saves and save your own bones. But we are going to iterate in the sliders array that we got here in the recursive array getter. And we are store it in the data that is character preset, all right? Character preset is a dictionary that is going to, to have the character as a preset, you know? And this is going to be the character as a data. What information we want to include here? So yes, we get this preset, we get the character, preset sliders, and we get this slider array. Preset. Character, preset, slider, we include that. And we save that preset. So we call this function that is in a singleton. You can watch it here to load. Yeah, the save TSN. It's gonna open it. Alright, so you have this save preset function. We need the save path preset that is going to be resources presets. It's going to be here, but yeah, probably you should store it in the user folder or whatever. It's just for... So, there you have these presets here, and it's quite simple how how it works. It opens a file, gets this path, right? And you store the line, this data that you passed, and the name that you want the file to be called. This means that uh, you save the preset with this name and this data, which is the main character preset. It's quite simple. And it works the same with the with the character. Once you have the character done, 
if you save it as a preset, take in consideration that it has to be named preset 1, preset 2, preset 3, preset 4, preset 5. If not, it's not going to appear. But if, if you save here instead of here, it's going to save the character. It's going to do the same thing, but you're going to call this in a different way. So I'm going I'm to show you. So here in the main character, we have a function that is save character data. And it's going to save itself instead of be safe, being saved by the, by the GUI. So we are going to save the bones, we are going to save the blend saves, and we are getting this orphan data that we don't know how to, how to retrieve. And we are feeding this character data, which is the dictionary we have here. We are feeding that, that dictionary with the data. Give me your root color, and by getting the shader parameters, and its uh, its data has its own, its own method to, to retrieve the information, and then we just call save, and we save the character with the character name, which is this, and the character data. And that's it, pretty much. I'm gonna show you how to save the bones and save the blend saves. Okay, so saving blade saves is, is just a matter of iterating and including that on in the character data. And the same thing with the bones, but you have to include the head bone scale because it works different. Head bone is scaled and the rest of the bones are translated. So let's explain the snapshot thing, which is interesting. So we have a viewport here on the character and a camera. This is going to point the face so we can take the snapshots and you can use this later in the UI in game, for example. So when we click the save preset button, we save the preset and we do the snapshot. So we make this snapshot that is quite easy. We only create an image like getting the texture data of the viewport of that camera in the character, which is this character face viewport, get texture, get data. And we get this image and we just save it on PNG on the resources presets or, or whatever you want with the name of the line edit box. This one. Remember that it should be preset 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for being included here. Yeah.